Hi everyone, it's Jane RVN, Swedish friend here again. He might have a little problem and he might need a little bit of bandage. So to start with, what are we going to do with holding our patient? Just do what you'd normally do. Bear in mind that he has potentially a fracture or a wound, so he's going to have some pain on ear or one of his legs and use the examiner assistant. You will have someone there. I urge you to use that person because your bandaging is going to be quicker and more accurate if you use that person because we all do it in practice. If somebody's bandaging, you end up holding and helping. So if you've been told that they've potentially got a mid shaft fracture, you're going to support at either end. So you're gonna support elbow and toe. Then as the person bandages, you will move your support up and we do it without asking. So remember that in the exam that person is there to help you. You're also going to be able to demonstrate that you asked for that person to help you. So either that is when you want to move the patient. Now it's not there necessarily that you have to do that, but it's nice practice and it will remind you that they're there to use them to hold for that leg. So that's what we want to do. So once our patient is in position, so appropriate for whichever site is painful, the next thing we face is our toes. Now, in the exam, you're likely to get an animal similar to this who doesn't actually have toes. I'm sorry, Swedish friend, we don't want you to hear that you don't have toes, but you don't. But you still need to demonstrate that you've padded. So what can you do? Well, mostly in practice, we would probably use something quite short because it would be going between the toes. But the difficulty when you've got something quite short is you will end up, and these are quite chunky, I would actually probably use something a bit narrower you don't want to make them feel like they've got a horrible big chunky foot. But then once you go and you pick up this and then you start to move it around, these all wobble quite a lot. Sorry for the camera wobbling as well. Um, so my advice would be go for something similar, but go for something a little bit longer because then you can hold it. Do you see what I mean? So you can put on enough to demonstrate because that's what you're doing with this they understand the examiners aren't silly they know he's got no toes demonstrate that he's got that then it means i can and obviously i'm a bit of an awkward angle for doing this with the camera but then i can pick up i can cover and then i've started my bandage and my toes are in and note the way I've picked up the bandage. I do still see some people doing this and there is research looking out there to see how accurate information this is. But at the moment, you will find you get better bandaging if you have the bandage material on top. So like this. So that is the patient's foot. The bandage material is always going to be on top. So you go that way and if you're left-handed or you prefer it you can go that way but we don't want to see this no 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 because your tension is all wrong and although it's not as obvious when you're doing this layer for your padding when you get to your conforming layer you want to be very clear that you understand what's going on and that you've got decent tension and it's not going to fall off thanks for watching